This video will show you how to export thousands or millions of images from your database, using SQL Blob Viewer. We first write the query to retrieve all the images or files we want to export. Now, instead of displaying all the rows from our result set, we choose to retrieve only the first five rows. Click on the Export Images and Files button to start the export wizard. We will name the images using the value from the ID column. You can see that all 127 images from the database have been exported, even though we only retrieved 5 rows to display. That's the only extra step you need to do when you want to export a lot of images or files. Set up SQL Blob Viewer to retrieve only the first few rows from your query results. We explain why in the next section of this video. By default, SQL Blob Viewer will retrieve the entire result set of your query. This is possible when your computer has enough memory to fit the result set. In this example, our result set contains a lot of large images, taking up almost half a gigabyte of RAM. SQL Blob Viewer will retrieve the entire result set from the database. Now see what happens when we run our query again, but choose to return only the first row. SQL Blob Viewer only needs to store the data from the first row in memory. This takes up very little memory space. Let's start the export wizard and see what happens. As each row is exported, the data is discarded and data from the next row is retrieved. This means that SQL Blob Viewer only needs to store the data for a single row in memory, allowing it to export thousands or millions of rows easily. 